Hello fellow H2O enthusiasts, it's the Water Doctor again and welcome back to our channel. In today's vlog, we're diving briefly into the fascinating world of ultra-pure water. Specifically, we're comparing deionized water and distilled water. Now, while both appear crystal clear, the process behind their purity is remarkably different. So let's break it down. If you're considering distilled water versus deionized water, it's crucial to grasp the unique production methods of each. Deionized water, or DI water as it's called, has had its, all its ions removed, which essentially means it's free of dissolved mineral salts. On the flip side, distilled water takes a more classical approach. It's been boiled into steam and then recondensed, leaving behind a majority of the impurities. Of course, you know how to make holy water, right? You boil the hell out of it. That's a joke. You might have even heard that distilled water can be even more pure than deionized water, depending on the starting quality of the water, and that may or may not be true. But does being more pure mean that it's better? Well, not necessarily. Each type of water has its own sets of pros and cons, especially when we talk about cost and efficiency for specific applications. First, let's talk technology. The oldest trick in the book to create pure water is by distillation. This process not only removes most minerals, but also knocks out many chemicals and bacteria. However, here's a kicker. Volatile organic chemicals, or VOCs, and some other contaminants might still linger after distillation. Why? Because they vaporize into the steam, and that's why prefiltration might be needed ahead of the process. It really depends on the quality of the water that you're starting with. Same is also true of the DI process. In the deionized water corner, we have a system that uses resin, anion resin and cation resin, to attract and remove ions from the water, leaving you with pure H2O. It's so pure it would make a chemist weep with joy. What about cost? Well, if you're on a budget, deionized water is probably your go-to, as it's typically much more cost-effective to produce. U.S. Water System's most popular DI system is a dual 4.5 by 20 filtration system because it's so cost-effective. With that said, distilled water comes at a higher cost, but it can be irreplaceable in many laboratory settings where ultra-high purity is non-negotiable and maybe just the ions need to be removed. However, it is becoming increasingly popular to use DI over distilled water, and more and more people are doing away with their stills and going to either reverse osmosis, followed by DI, or straight DI water. If you have ultra-high TDS, or total dissolved solids, in certain cases, if you're using a lot of DI water, you may need to pre-treat it with RO to make it more cost-effective. You definitely need a water analysis because you need to know exactly what ions, in the, what ions are in the water and how they need to be removed properly. RO followed by DI is sometimes the best way. Remember though, the choice between deionized versus distilled water boils down to its intended use and required purity. More and more people are going to straight DI or RO followed by DI and stills are becoming a thing of the past because of the high energy usage. If you're thirsty for more or have any questions, drop a comment below and don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Want to learn more about deionized water? Then click the link in the description to get the full scoop. That's all for today's deep dive into H2O. Stay curious and we'll catch you on the next video. Stay thirsty, my friends. Cheers.